Hi, my name is Aaron Myers, and I'm a language coach dedicated to helping others learn languages well. You can find out more about me, about my coaching, or about my work here in Turkey at my website, the Turkish Listening Library. But this show is not about learning Turkish. It's about giving you tips and ideas to help you learn a second language more efficiently, more effectively, and with a lot more fun. Today's learning tip, the dumb smart question. Dumb smart questions are questions that are dumb and smart. Now, they're dumb because you already know the answer. They're smart because they allow you to really just gather a lot of comprehensible input from the community that you're living in. Let me give you an example of a dumb smart question. Uh, let's say you're out uh, wandering around in your new community or if you're living uh, not in the culture of your language, if you're back in your home country, you can go to an ethnic area of a city. But you go to, for example, the post office in Turkey here. I'd go to the post office uh, and then I'd find out where it's at. I'd look around, you know, get my bearings. I had to walk away from the post office in a certain direction around the corner and I would walk up to the first person I see and I'd say in Turkish, which I would have practiced, excuse me, I'm looking for the post office. Can you please help me find it? Now, this is a dumb question because you just left the post office and you know exactly where it's at. It's a very smart question because now you have tipped the scales in your favor. You've allowed yourself to anticipate to uh, have a lot of background knowledge, all important things for you to understand messages uh, and understand what they're saying. Will you understand every word? No, you won't, but you will be able to understand the basic gist of what they're saying. Now, what you want to do then is listen very politely, even if it just sounds like, I don't know what they just said. Then turn around, say thank you, and walk towards the post office. They will thank you are a great Turkish speaker or Chinese speaker or French speaker, whatever it may be, um, you will have just heard directions to the post office. Now, walk away. Uh, if you'd like, you could maybe pull out a, a note card at that point, um, you know, write down a, a few of the words that you thought you heard, what they said that you thought they said, and then you're going to turn around, making sure that they are well away from uh, where you just were, go back to a similar area, approach another unsuspecting native speaker, and ask the same question. Excuse me, could you please tell me where the post office is? Again, a dumb question, you know the answer. A very smart question, because now, in the, 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 you know, the span of five minutes, you've heard two people give you directions to the post office. Do this five, six, seven times in a row, maybe even going to different uh, corners from different directions, and suddenly in the space of you know, one hour on one afternoon, you've heard uh, five, 10, 15 different people give you directions. Now, that is really uh, a, a good idea and good for your language learning. You might not, in the course of your everyday normal going about uh, life, hear that many directions in a month, in two months, in six months. But because you've, you've intentionally been looking for ways to control the input, you've used the dumb smart question method, you've allowed yourself to really hear a lot of the same thing over and over again. And each time you do that, each answer you uh, heard, I guarantee you, you start to hear more and to understand more and to figure it out more. And each time maybe you take a few notes. Um, but then, uh, you know, by the end of that day, suddenly you've got a better handle on hearing directions. Now, dumb, smart questions can be used in a whole host of, of, of ways, not just for asking for directions. They could be used at the market to ask for prices or ask what a certain fruit is or ask how do you prepare this food. Um, as long as you make it dumb by doing a little homework ahead of time and figuring out just kind of what the general answer would be and smart by asking it again and again to a host of native speakers who are all going to give a very similar answer. So that's the dumb smart question. I hope you will try it out soon 
uh, in your neighborhood, in your neck of the woods, uh, in Chinatown or in Turkey, in Istanbul, wherever you're at. Give it a shot. I'd love to hear how it goes for you, if you've found it a valuable tool. Um, blessings to you on your language learning journey, and we'll see you next week.